эрхэм мундэд ерөөх хэлэгч ё улсын хурлын эрхэм гүшүүдээ хүндэд зочин Канад улсын амбун захирагч олон хатагтай ноёдоо Монгол улсын ерөөх хэлэгч хурлаар Канад улсын амбун захирагч эрхэмсэг ноён Дэвид Джонстон гэргий эрхэмсэг хатагтай Шерин Джонстонар манай улсад төрийн альчид хийж байна. Монгол улсын их хурлын хүн тэтгэлийн хурлаанд Канад улсын амбан захирагч эрхэмсэг ноён Дэвид Джонстон оролцож байгаа та бүхэнд баяртайгаар мэдэгдээ. Канад улс нь 1909 онд Монгол орнд өрнөсөн арчил шинжилгээг тууштай дэмжиж 1994 оноос эхлэн 2 орны төлөөлөгчд өндөр дээд хэмжээнд харилцаа айлчилж өргөн үрээтэй дүнжлийн үрээнд хамтын ажиллагаа өргөжүүлж ирлээ. Үүний үр дүнд улс төр эдийн засаг худалдаа хөрөнгө оруулалт, соёл боловсрол, батлан хамгаал, хөдөө аж ахуй, барилгын салбарт тодорхой үр дүн гарч байна. Канад гэдэг улсын тухай жирийн малчин, жирийн хотын Монгол иргэний монголчуудын хамгийн түрүүнд төрдөг хоёр сэтгэдлийг хэлхийг хүсэж байна. Нэгдүгээрт манай улсын шинэ сумын төв Канад башин гэдгээр хамгийн дулаахан байшин бол Канад башин гэдэг монголчууд бүгдээрээ мэдээж авсан байгаа. Энийг дэлхийн хамгийн хүүтэн нийслэлд амьдэрдэг бид бол бүгдээрээ мэднэ. Дэлхийн хоёр дахь хүүтэн нийслэл бол Канад улсын нийслэл Оттава хот байгаа. Хоёр дахьт Канад улсыг Канад улсын уул урхын компаниуд Монгол улсыг дэлхийн эрдс баялгийн газрын зураг дээр оруулахад том хувь нэмэр оруулсан. Монгол улсад оруулсан уул урхын хөрөнгө оруулалт чухал үүрэгтэй байсныг нь харуулж байгаа. Манай хоёр орны хооронд технологи тайлцаа тогтоосны 40 жилийн ой энэ жил тохиож байгаа. Энэ түүхүү үед Монгол улсын ерөнхий хэлэгч хурлаар Канад улсын амбан захирагч Эрхэмсэг ноён Дэвид Джонсон Монгол улсад анх удаагаа төрийн альчил хийж байна. Таныг манай орнд төрийн альчил хийж байгаатай холбогдуулан зарласан улсын их хурлын 2013 оны 10 дугаар сарын 25-ны өдрийн хүн тэтгэлийн хурлаа нээснийг мэдэгдээ. Mr. Speaker, parliamentarians, members of the diplomatic corps, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your wonderfully warm welcome. It is truly a great honor to be invited to address the state great Corral and to be the first governor general of Canada to undertake a state visit to Mongolia. My wife Sharon and I arrived late last night and already we are getting a sense of the magnificent hospitality of Mongolians. We are delighted to be here. Let me begin by offering greetings and best wishes on behalf of all Canadians. Comme vous le savez, cela fait 40 ans cette année que nos pays entretiennent 
des relations diplomatiques. J'aimerais en profiter pour remercier les habitants de la Mongolie qui se sont révélés d'excellents amis et partenaires pour le Canada. As you know, this year marks the 40th anniversary of diplomatic relations between our two countries, and I want to take this opportunity to thank the people of Mongolia for being such good friends and great partners of Canada. This year also marks another milestone, one of shorter duration perhaps, but of no less significance to our present and future ties, the fifth anniversary of the resident Canadian Embassy here in Ulaanbaatar. Canadians and Mongolians may be separated by geography, but we are united by bonds of shared experiences capable of transcending great dist distances. Let me underline all that we have in common. We are alike in our affection for our distinct and proud histories and cultures. We are alike in our sense of being custodians of vast, challenging, and beautiful lands. We are alike in our reverence for democracy, for human dignity and rights, as well as for the rule of law. While our relationship has in recent times been centered on commerce, particularly resource development, today it embraces a diverse and growing array of shared activity and interests. I am so pleased by this growth. It signals to me that our relationship is evolving into the kind of truly sophisticated, rich partnership that our two peoples deserve and that is needed to meet the challenges of a complex and changing world where we work together for peace, security, and good governance. Today, Canadians and Mongolians are expanding our ties and learning about each other in new and exciting ways. For example, Canadians from all walks of life have witnessed with hope and admiration the evolution of Mongolia's democratic practice. It is truly a beacon of light to the world. And as an expression of our commitment to a long-term partnership with Mongolia, we have done more than just observe. We have actively invested, together with Mongolians at all levels of society, in the efforts to strengthen this country's democratic governance. We are working together for improvements in public service management, better policing practice, legal and judicial reform, and enhanced local government capacity. We are also working to develop the administrative and legislative strengths of this critical institution, the state Great Kural. Canada is partnering with Mongolia in these endeavors because we believe that building strong, transparent, and efficient judicial, public service, and legislative institutions is both the smart thing to do and the right thing to do. It is right and smart because we believe that good governance reinforces democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. It is right and smart because we believe that well-functioning institutions are also the foundation stones for the economic development to which Mongolia's citizens overwhelmingly aspire. In this regard, permit me to underline my own sense of the indispensable role of this Koral and you as legislators to that goal. Your work has direct, lasting impact on the trajectory of Mongolia's development. The laws created here either promote a predictable, supportive environment for business and the economic betterment of your great nation and its citizens, or do not. I'm therefore pleased to learn that Canada and Mongolia are examining possible longer-term support to develop a more professional, nonpartisan, accountable, transparent, and citizen-centered Mongolian public service. And I'm additionally pleased by the strengthening level of commercial exchanges between our two countries. Canada is a significant investor in Mongolia and your third largest trading partner. We have great potential to expand and diversify our economic ties for mutual benefit. I understand that education and building technologies are two specific areas where there is potential for further growth. On the international stage, we are joint members of no fewer than 35 international organizations. Canada has been a strong and consistent supporter of Mongolia's successful efforts to join such fora as the Organization for Security Cooperation in Europe. We are also partners in NATO and the Community of Democracies. On that note, I would like to congratulate Mongolia on the completion of its term as Chair of the Community of Democracies, and most especially 
for the advancements in protecting and enabling civil society that were made under Mongolia's leadership. This objective is one Canada also holds dear. Canada is proud to chair the community's working group on civil society. In particular, I'd like to highlight the joint efforts of Canada and Mongolia to develop a Curriculum for Democracy Education, Curriculum for Democracy Education, which I understand will be deployed in Mongolia's school systems as well as in a number of other community member states. Canadians understand that we derive great benefit from engagement with the wider world. We also know that with that engagement, there comes a responsibility to act in the defense of good international governance and peace. I would therefore like to take a moment to salute the efforts of Mongolia's service men and service women who in UN-led peacekeeping operations in Sudan and other locations far from their homes and loved ones are working to secure international peace and stability. Canada, through its military training programs, is also contributing to the development of Mongolia's international peacekeeping capacities and efforts. Working together, we believe we can foster regional and global security and help bring about a more fair, just, and peaceful world. I want to thank you again for this gracious invitation you extended to Sharon and me to visit Mongolia. We're looking forward to learning and seeing as much as we can of this fascinating country in the short time we have here. I began my comments today by noting that we are on the threshold of 40 years of diplomatic recognition an anniversary we will formally celebrate in November of this year. In those 40 years, our relationship has grown beyond the bounds of diplomacy into a robust and living friendship, one that exists on many levels and in many spheres of activity. In 1973, Mongolia was a different place than the one we know now. In many ways, so is Canada. What matters is how far we have come together. For its part, Mongolia continues to undergo an extraordinary evolution. Whatever challenges you may face and whatever opportunities arise, Mongolians should know that they have no more committed partner than Canada today and in the years to come. Let us therefore continue our work together. Merci. <laughs> Танд улсын хурлын нэрийн өмнөөс талархал илэрхийлээ. Танд ажлын амжилт сайн сайхан бүхнийг хүсэж таныг манай сайхан оронд тав тав мэрлэхийг хүсье. Хүн төрлийн хурлдаа өндөрсний мэдгдээ.